Vitalik Buterin sees Ethereum, ETH, dominance fading. And he's not the only one. Vitalik claims Ethereum is losing its lead to some extent earlier this week, the one and only Vitalik Buterin sat down with prominent crypto journalist Laura Shin to talk all things Ethereum. In the interview, this being the first live episode of Unchained, Buterin was surprisingly candid, letting a few things slip out of his lips that may have caught some on the back foot. According to Breaker Mag, Shin started it out with a toughie, is Ethereum losing its lead? Surprisingly, Buterin conceded, remarking that yes, Ethereum is losing its command over the smart contract blockchain ecosystem to some extent. The Russian-Canadian coder chalks this up to his brainchild's nascency, explaining that as the industry swells, there will naturally be competitors that rear their heads. He adds that time gives projects time to build off their predecessors. The 26-year-old programming whiz goes on to touch on potential competitors. Polkadot, a yet-to-launch crypto project that raised a purported $100 million plus. Buterin explains that he doesn't see the blockchain replacing his own. Yet, he explains that he wouldn't be entirely disheartened if the privacy-centric cash or even Ethereum Classic were to usurp his project's own hegemony. On the other hand, he poked fun at Drawn explaining that if a Justin Sun run venture manages to take over Ethereum, he will have lost a certain amount of hope for humanity. Losing Steam Buterin isn't the first to have brought up issues with the narrative that Ethereum will always be the go-to platform for decentralized applications. Kyle Simani, the co-founder and managing partner of Multicoin Capital, noted that well-funded, high-potential blockchains could eventually pose a threat to Ethereum's multi-year supremacy. The multi-coin executive noted that Cosmos and the A16Z backed Infinity, two projects that found their roots in 2017, could take a large piece of the smart contract development and deployment pie. World-renowned venture capitalist Fred Wilson echoed this thesis. In a blog post, Wilson, the co-founder of Union Square, remarked that next-gen smart contract platforms will begin to ship and challenge the long-standing leader in 2019 especially in terms of its leadership in this super-important area in the crypto sector. In a recent Forbes interview, Alex Sunnarborg, a Tetris Capital representative, noted that recent layoffs at Consensus Systems, better known as Consensus, should have a negative effect on the broader Ethereum ecosystem. He added that the fact Consensus is an integral part of this subsector and underwent purportedly drastic staff cuts should have some worried. Generalizing dApps and products on the platform, Sunnerborg explained that many promising offerings have yet to launch, and the ones that have are pretty difficult to use and have little to zero active users. Case in point, the Tetris Capital founding partner drew attention to the mere $40,000 currently staked on Augur, a multi-million dollar ICO. Thus, he claimed, there's this massive disconnect between how much money is still tied up in these projects and how much people actually use them. Sunnar Borg added that Ethereum may also become pressured by competition blockchains, like Dfinity or Polkadot, along with the fact that the chain's development is losing momentum and steam.